How do you make uh, make it possible that the network stay, the mass node network stays distributed? Because uh, basically it could be 2,200 uh, one person and 2,200 another person, and then they just tell each other what to vote on. Well, this is a, these are a lot of coins, I'm not sure you can... I'm not sure if there... I think there are many people who own master nodes because... Is it no? If you, have, if you own the car, <coughs> which is 2,000 no, nodes, you, you would need 2 million dash. And yeah, earlier there weren't that many coins to buy. So if you buy all the coins at one time, you the price will not skyrocket. So it's not like you can um, invest in master nodes without influencing the price of Dash. So um, there are probably people which are who own a couple of nodes, uh, hundreds maybe, but it's not like you can influence the vote with hundred nodes. Um, so yeah, many people say, okay, these master nodes they probably are owned by a small community of people, but um, there wasn't, there weren't any problems uh, up to today uh, when it comes to voting because they always vote on um, in their own interest and this collateral they provide is a big risk if you uh, try to um, um, be a malicious party part of the network because you're gonna get penalized and lose your money. Mm -hmm. But this there is, is no, there is no kind of central control. No. Who is a master node or not? No, you, you as a user can start a master node tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You it's just need this hardware. It's similar to a hash rate in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, no. It's full out of control of uh, the blockchain. Who is mining? Yeah. And they're not mining, they're just providing services and they get paid for that and they get part of the block reward. Yes. Um, Dash Evolution is open source? Will be open source, yes. Okay. Also this, uh, this server for this web wallet? This, there is no central server. You just connect oh, to yeah, this exactly. API. You said it's, it's running on the master nodes. Uh, on the network. But this, this, this means the master nodes also provide some kind of a web service because it's a website. Um, yes, this is. You can run a website on your own server, but you're gonna need the API to connect to the master to the network. So if your website goes down, it's not a problem for the network. <coughs> there will be another. Okay, website. the web pages are centralized, but yeah. uh, the the backbone is decentralized. Yeah, the multiple the entry points. Yeah, on the back end. But all, all are talking with the master node network. Yeah. Back. Back on end. the back end, you don't have any server, uh, just this network of master nodes. And you as a merchant can use the, this API to set up a subscription on your website with one click buttons, uh, which then gets sent to the master node network and they provide a service. Did I understand this correctly that there is no mining at all going on? With the master nodes, there is no mining at all, but you still have the miners on the blockchain. They're on, on the blockchain network and they do the same mining as in Bitcoin. Just they get uh, less rewards from that. But less than in Bitcoin or less than the master nodes? Um, they provide because of the block reward is split in these three parts where half of it goes to the miners, half of it goes to almost half of it goes to the master nodes and 10% is this treasure which is funding. So the miners get only 45% of each block reward, which currently is around 5 dash. So you have uh, almost a half. Yeah. Okay. Um, you need 1,000 dash to um, run a master node? Yes. They are locked in? Yeah, you have to provide the 1,000 dash in order to connect to the network. Okay. So um, they are locked in there, you can't do anything with them? Um, well, I'm not sure, but I think they're locked up in an address, and if they're, you may be able to take out dash from it, but if it goes under 1000 dash, you go offline, oh. because the network detects. 
that you don't have enough dash to run a master node. I think, I think it's similar. It's a transaction, and exactly this one transaction has to be in the wallet. Yeah. So it's not 1,000 uh, dash split in 10, 100 tran uh, dash transactions. It must be one transaction, and this transaction you activate as your master node yeah. collateral. You just provide your master node signature with the uh, address you send the money, and the network verifies your server, and you, you go online. So um, they, they, with this, I mentioned this savings account earlier because they asked people how, how could you keep your master node always online if so many people are providing funds for that. And the devs are going to implement probably a threshold of let's say 70% at least of this dash has have to be available so your master nodes could stay online even if uh, users start uh, moving out their money from their savings accounts which are these master node shares um, yeah. it's in but it's also running decentralized pure, you pure on the, based on the master node network yes. there's savings savings account yeah this is um, are running on the, on the blockchain as well. And uh, who, is, who is holding these coins then? Which coins? This is the, the coins you deposit on savings. Who is holding them? Uh, the network. It's a network address. Uh, it's uh, dedicated to the master nodes. So uh, it's on the blockchain. Your money stays on the blockchain. It's it stays on my address? Um, mm -hmm. Well, I'm not 100% sure because I've never used it, but I, I, um, I think I've heard they send the money to an address and but, they keep but it. But then it's not trustless. Or how I'm sure I get it ever back? If, if my money leaves my wallet yeah. to another address where I have, have no control of it, it's against the so I'm not idea of blockchain. Yeah, I'm not 100% <coughs> sure about this because I couldn't research it, so... Um, I, I think some kind of uh, block the transaction makes sense, yeah? Yeah. So as, as long as this saving account is active, my transaction is locked. If, if it goes inactive or if locked. I stop saving, then yeah. I... Maybe can locked on an address which you can control the private key of it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't want to... Um, get false statements uh, from mm -hmm. that. Or is a multi-signature yeah. maybe used for it? Um, probably it's used with these um, uh, master node shares. There are third parties right now where you can buy master node shares, but, yeah, but it's basically out, out a third of party. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and it's I would say it's not that trusted. You can't trust this because mm -hmm. it's hosted on a server. There was a question. Does this already exist? Saving or is this part of the This uh, will be part of the evolution okay, update so uh, at the end okay. of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, how is the development process of the master nodes set up? I assume it's open source, but uh, yeah. they have a new version. Is there an incubation phase until it goes online? Or who says now, okay, this is the new version of the master node? Uh, the, the core team, they, they provide the, the new software and uh, the the master nodes have to update. Um, so in January, they have to update in order to stay online in the network. So um, there wasn't there, there wasn't that uh, this timeline time frame where you can wait until everybody goes online. So um, yes, but you get the software from the devs, and you update your master node in order to stay online up to date with the latest software. Uh, yes, but who is reviewing the source of the master team, uh, of the core team? Uh, it's on GitHub, so it's open source. Okay, yeah, that was the first part. Yeah. And then I have a frozen version and then there's an incubation phase until the version goes online, or...? Um, there is, they, they, they do it, they have, I think, this testnet, which is not uh, the blockchain testnet. But the new version needs to be voted on by the master nodes, or can they just 
say that's a new version? No, they bought from a the new version, uh, and the masternodes bought on the new version. Well, you don't have to vote on each software update because you vote only on, on this direction of development by the team in order to go to, to reach this evolution part of Dash, you need certain updates and they don't have to provide each time a proposal to the network to do these updates. The nodes, uh, the master nodes know this software is needed for this future development of Dash evolution, so we need to deploy this software on the network in order to reach that state. So there is no real strict review of the code? No. So if the development decides this is a new version and it's a minor change, they can just push it to the network. Yes. Basically, yes. Uh, uh, well, I think the, the government system, as I understand it, uh, is uh, handing out funds to people that is not before the team, yeah? Like yeah. this, uh, this TV Outside show or something like this, yeah? Paid. There was this Facebook ad campaign where, we, where a guy proposed to do a Facebook ad campaign on Facebook. So he proposed I need $2,000 to do a video uh, about Dash so I can promote it to the to the people. So this is an outside person which uh, got funded from the blockchain. So on the blockchain, there is uh, this proposal is winning, and this proposal will get the share of this month payout, and that's it on the blockchain. Then when it gets so developed the and, gets and, and how it gets reviewed and when it gets released, that's all. Every all this stuff is out of Outside, the blockchain. Yeah. It's not like this uh, the DAO thing where the code uh, was doing automatic yeah. things. Yeah. This is only voting mechanism. Where I want to bring the discussion to. Uh, I can bring in exploits as a developer, it gets pushed out with a new version, and I use this exploit to take over all nodes. No. <laughs> risky. This is a okay. Okay. This is a probably possible. Okay. Yeah, they, it's open source, so you have to go through all the checks uh, before people deploy that on the network. And nobody has to nobody has to see that uh, yeah, on your part of the code. That's why I put for the incubation phase a, not to when you have a new version. Incubation phase or you can take a look. I'm not sure there are any people from the outside who um, do commitments on the code because uh, the blockchain pays for some of these developers and the, the core team knows their people. So uh, I'm not sure there are many outside commitments. Sure, but the point is, if I buy dash coins, whatever they call, I have to trust this core team, and there is no other. Well, if well, the core team does not. want to do something bad, then I lost. Kind of basically, not because you have a blockchain on, on the back end, which uh, keeps your funds safe, but may it may happen that. Some of your services you're using gets compromised, but um, um, I, I think this percentage is very low. But still, you have the blockchain, so all your funds are safe when you keep them in your um, address. Um, the master nodes they don't have an access to the blockchain; they can't reverse the blockchain. They just send uh, these confirmations to the blockchain. These proposals they don't get. Uh, the blockchain doesn't see these proposals, they get only this finalized budget at the end of the month <coughs> and the blockchain issues this super block and the, the blockchain doesn't know what happens with this super, super block the, the funds get sent to the proposals so still you have this security, you can't compromise the, the network and still if somebody catches you, you lose all your money which in the future won't be 70,000, it will be much more money I think so. Yeah. It will be very risky to try something like that. <coughs> and because of these masternode quorums, not the whole network is um, providing services to everybody, but randomly selected nodes provide services to users. So uh, it's not like you can attack uh, a person instantly. So, yeah. Uh, it's a not not a blockchain this master not network it's a peer
peer-to-peer -peer network which communicates with the blockchain. One more question about, maybe I missed it in, in your presentation, but uh, what about the block reward? So how, how is this calculated? Um, because in Bitcoin we do have a static block reward, so starting so with 50 every 10 minutes and 25 and 12.5. Um, so the block reward is, depends on two things. You have this network difficulty. If the difficulty goes higher, the block rewards goes lower and vice versa. And secondly, each year the block reward, the total block reward, gets reduced by 7%. Okay. So, so this is how the block reward. So there will be a time where the block reward is yeah. almost zero? Yeah, there, there were discussions what happens with when exactly. we don't have a block reward. Uh, we don't have this treasury anymore. Yeah, so what's the incentive uh, for Massimos to keep up the service? Um, they, they, don't, they didn't discuss, they didn't uh, provide answers, okay. at least the dev team, but it probably will be a hard fork with, I don't know, they, they're going to need something to, cha to change about the government, because if the block reward disappears, you, you don't have funding for the proposals. Yeah. But this is, they have time to... Um, find out how to implement that in the future. Maybe they won't need the governance anymore. I don't know. It's a, it hasn't been discussed that much. Okay, so this is really a problem because I think you, one of the big advantages of Dash is having this second tier network yeah. of mass nodes. But what we are going to do if they don't get incentivized to, to provide the service 10 years from now? Or I don't well, know they, they may get fees from the services they provide. Yeah. Uh, not the block reward. It may be not enough to. So, well, there's a lot of time in front of him. I, I think the block reward will stop in about 100 years. Okay. So, they have time to make a decision on that. So, yes. Is there anything similar to smart contracts? Well, no, they are not deploying a. EVM, uh, virtual uh, machine like Ethereum to run smart contracts. They're gonna have these basic scripts where you can subscribe to a service, probably. Um, but smart contracts are not included in the future plans. Or not. Why do I need more of these services then? Well, you Who may is want accessing those services. You may want. The, the master node network to access the information <coughs> from the outside world, mm -hmm. uh, not to provide it to the blockchain, but to the users. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to rely on a third party sending you information. So okay. you can um, connect to, to the outside world and get your information mm -hmm. and um, distribute it around the network. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. Always see it to be for consumption. As we know, it's the common problem with blockchain that the power consumption will be unsustainable in the long term. Well, well, they're still not discussing that. Uh, you're talking about the proof of work yeah. uh, part. Um, well, Dash is not implementing yet a proof of stake uh, protocol. So, then they want to address these issues in, in the future, at least not in the next one or two years. They're, they're going to use uh, this um, um, power proof of work mechanism, but they're going to rely on the, this second layer network uh, in order to um, scale, so to have this scalability uh, when many users start using uh, the services of Dash. So basically, um, and you can't call it a lightning network, but it's some kind of layer which will do the most of transactions and it's going to record this on the blockchain. Um, and the miners, they, yeah, they're not an issue for now for the community. Yeah, it's not sustainable, but still it's working for now and they're not uh, planning on getting rid of their miners for now. So. Yeah, but uh, to be clear, 
the blockchain is only secured by a proof of work. Uh, master nodes are not secure in the blockchain. No, they don't, they only keep a copy of it um, because that, uh, that's how you can uh, synchronize faster with the blockchain if you run in case server. So they have this secure distribution of the blockchain stored on the master nodes. But they don't uh, verify transactions on the blockchain, they verify transactions only um, on the master node network. No, they verify, but they don't create blocks. They don't each, create each, each node no. verify transaction. No. no. Yes, yeah. so if the transaction don't follow the wallet code, you reject it, you don't add it in your blockchain. Each node is verifying the transaction, but only one node is creating uh, the block that includes the transaction. Or then random nodes, these master node quorums where you select randomly from the 4,000. This is only used for instance end, or uh, it's how you call it? It was used in private send. I'm not sure if they updated that. It was used in private send, mm -hmm. and they plan on using it for each service in the future when they released uh, evolution. Okay, so, maybe. because of scalability uh, reasons, you can't very each node, you can't. Uh, rely on all master nodes to verify each transaction happening on this network because this is going to slow down things. Any more burning questions? Okay. okay. So thank you very much. Thank you very much.